have to win, that's just fine We'll sort it all out, it just takes time You mean more to me than winning the fight I'm letting it go, I don't have to be right So let's give peace a try So let's give peace a try So let's give peace a try Hi everyone, welcome back to our Tag Kids Sports Studio well, this is our last week talking about peace. Peace is proving you care more about each other than winning an argument. Have you ever been in a team where someone messes up and they lose the game? Or have you messed up and lost the game for your team? Yeah, it can be hard to keep you cool with them or even yourself when that happens. In today's story, we're gonna learn about a reason why you should make peace no matter what the situation. It all comes down to this shot. If he makes it, he proves once and for all that he's more than just a competitor. He is a champion. Everything that has happened before this moment doesn't matter. This is the shot. This is the moment. This. Do you mind? That is very distracting. Sorry. <gasps> oh! Hello. I am John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So and So Show. I concur. All month long we've been playing the So and So Show basketball tournament. And yesterday we had the championship match between me and our pal Longbeard Carl. And the winner was. Well, not, not, not so fast, Brandon. It's time for a tournament recap. Booyah! We started out with eight opponents. Sari versus Brandon, the so-and-so show players versus Longbeard Carl, Fred versus Lawson, and me, John, versus Kellen. And the first round was full of surprises. Brandon beat his phone easily, and Fred was no match for Lawson. <laughs> John, are you hearing that? Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, Longbeard Carl managed to take on all of the So and So Show players at the same time, and he won. And this is where my brother keeps all of his comic books and, and junk. And of course, I beat of Cullen a due to a technicality, which leads us to round two. And this is where he puts on his little show, the whatever and whatever show. <laughs> and this is half John, a ping pong table. Yeah, yeah, sh 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 and Brandon oh, and, and uh, I, uh, right we uh, went okay. on to a battle of the centuries. Uh, John, and, uh, I uh, won that fridge. match, of I know course. I down here because John, they what? never Sister. use it. Ooh, I know, and I know, just, just ignore her and she'll go away. She does this all the time. She's always trying to take over my show and all that crazy stuff. Look, John put up pictures of himself. Love yourself much. I can't ignore her, John. And She's this? clearly right there. Okay, is this fine. What you do? Yeah. It's time for someone who knows nothing. Okay, Tina, I know who you are, but could you tell our, our fans who you are and what you know? I'm Tina, and I already I'm said she knows nothing. Whatever, I know more than you do. <laughs> yeah, right. Unless it's about comic books and toys, you've got me beat there. Okay, uh, Tina, you are John's sister, so why uh, tell us why? Uh, who? Why are you here? Oh, I'm doing my own vlog. Today, I'm showing my fans around John's house. Fans? <laughs> what do you got? Like one? Like two hundred. <gasps> Whatever. You got the idea to do your own show from us. We got the idea from Rhett and Link. You're not helping. Oh well, maybe I can by playing a game called Who Knows More? I have here in my hand some questions taken from final exams given to your average high school senior. What grade are you in, Tina? 12. That's right. And what grade, never mind. Okay, so question number one. What is the official language of Cambodia? What? Nobody. Tina. Come here. That is correct. Question two. What U.S. state has Salem as its capital? Tina. Oregon. Right again. Qu 
Question three. <laughs> this is so unfair. Which Greek letter is Alpha, Omega, uh, I, I wanna say Shazama. That is incorrect. Which Greek letter is used in physics to represent wavelength in equations? Tina. That would be lambda, Brandon. That would be correct, Tina. Well, oh, come on! Let's tally up the scores, shall we? Tina got three correct answers. John, you got a big fat, how much? Zero. Zero. So <laughs> the person who knows more is... It's Bible Story Time with Kellen! Hey guys, um, who's this? Kellen, this is my sister Tina. She knows more than me, apparently. Well, nice to meet you, Tina. You too. Got a great verse for you guys today, Colossians 3.15. It says, let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. So what does that mean? Well, it means that God forgave us. He made peace with us, so we need to make peace with one another. Check it out. This is you. This is me. This is all of us. Kellen, that's not me. I'm not a tiny disc. John. Sorry. On our own, we can only do so much, particularly when we allow anger to take over. All we end up doing is chasing people away, just like how they can also push us away. It doesn't matter how much you want to bring someone to you. If you aren't ready, if you don't have peace in your heart and a willingness to make peace with another person, all that would happen is an explosion sending that person away from you, or even worse. You just push everyone away. But we were forgiven. Jesus sacrificed himself so that we could have our slate wiped clean. We are forgiven, so we should forgive others. When you have the peace that Christ gives inside you, you can make peace. And when you do that to those around you, God made peace with our world by sending his only son to be our example. Jesus willingly offered forgiveness and made peace. Can you? Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace. See you next time, guys. Thanks, Kellen. I guess we have to make peace now. Guess so. Uh, I'm sorry I've been such a jerk to you today. Sorry, I was shooting my show at the same time you were shooting your show. And? And what? And you're sorry about something else? No, I don't think so. <sighs> what? what? You, you didn't come and watch me play in the championship game against Longbeard Carl. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I didn't see you there. Yes, I did. I took pictures. You did? Yeah, see? There's the jump ball. Oh, there's you dribbling past Longbeard Carl. <laughs> Sweet dunk. Oh, that's when you made fun of Longbeard Carl's beard. The last free throw of the game. And that's how the game ended. I can't believe you guys did this whole tournament just to have it end in a tie. Well, I can't believe you were at the game and I didn't even see you. I wouldn't miss your big moment, bro. Aww. Should I move? I feel like I should. I'll just. Oh. <clears throat> you know what? You can do your show any time. You know what? You can do your show at my house anytime you want, Tina. Really? Sure thing. Awesome! <laughs> Reveal the question. Uh, I didn't say you could do that, though. Oh, I, I thought you just... No, I said you could do your show. You come in here. Oh, 
Excuse I give me? you good graces, and then you take advantage of it. You give me it. good graces. I do give you good graces. Okay, by the question of the day is, here, oh, like, this is, like, this is, I'm sorry. No, Who no, do you no, need no, to make no, peace no, with? No, I'm, I'm not saying Are you I'm holding a grudge against you know someone? It's time that you invite me or is there someone in your life who you just can't seem to get along with? You were talking amongst yourselves. I can't do. Oh, no, no. Let me make a list of things that you can't do. That's the so and so show, everyone. Yeah, I'm going to write it down with this unsharpened pencil. Oh, All right. I'm that just makes gonna, a lot gonna, of sense. Just like everything else. Watch this. I'm going to chisel it in like they used to in the olden days. That. This is where he puts on his little show, the whatever and whatever show. And over here is half a no, ping pong table. Pretty show. useless. <laughs> Oh, and uh, I took that's the crew, right and a there. Match for the Hi, crew. centuries. Yeah. And I went, of course. And John. there's what? a fridge. I don't know why it's here it's because okay, they never know, use it. Um, ooh, over, over here is a okay, so curtain covering the sound Carl. booth. Ooh, this must be a Lawson. soundproof curtain. Um, <laughs> look, John put up right pictures there. of you himself. <laughs> okay, okay, Love yourself fine. much. It's time for someone who knows nothing. Listen to this verse from Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. You see, before Jesus, people couldn't have lasting peace with God. They were separated because God is perfect and people weren't. And even though people, you and I, didn't deserve it, God loved his people, he loves us, and he sent Jesus to die on a cross to pay for their sins, for our sins. Jesus died so that we can have peace with God. So if God loves us that much to make peace with us when we didn't deserve it, and sent his only son to die so that we can have that peace with him, Maybe we should love others and try and keep the peace with them too. We should look for ways to make peace with people, even when they mess up, even when they do things they shouldn't, and even when they don't necessarily deserve it. Here's the thing I want you guys to remember for today. We can make peace with others because God made peace with us. We can make peace with others because God made peace with us. You know, it won't always be easy, but you can ask God to give you what you need to make peace. I can tell you from experience that it will make a huge difference in someone else's life and in your life too. Well, I hope you've been enjoying the table talk and the God time activities this month. It's the last week of our series on peace. So why don't you grab everybody together and discuss this question, who do you need to make peace with. Thanks for joining us today at Tag Kids. If you have any questions, prayer requests, or any other needs, or just want to know more about the Tag Kids program, please contact me on the following details. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time.